You know, you can already sense the change is coming. The skies are just yeah. a little grayer. Yeah. Clouds right. a little thicker, <laughs> a little right? A thic little darker. <laughs> All that sunshine we had for so long. And rain's coming up. It's working its way up from the yeah. south. And we've got several days of it. I guess we're back to normal, right? I guess. And we'll take it. I guess, <laughs> hey, especially if you're out there, uh, you know, gardening, doing some stuff this weekend. Uh, look at this nice shot. Paul's boy. Those are the dark clouds we're talking about. It's really starting to thicken up as we look out toward the Great Wheel. Uh, 66 right now is where we're sitting at SeaTac. The winds not so bad just yet. It's west southwest at about eight miles per hour, and they are going to start to pick up right out of the southwest. Most spots have cooled about five degrees or so. Look at Shelton though, 11 degrees cooler than this time yesterday, thanks to all the cloud cover that's come on in. Now this is giving us some return where we would see some rain. A lot of this is not quite reaching the ground yet. The air is just so dry through all the layers all the way to where the clouds are. And until we get uh, the dew points and more moisture in the atmosphere in the lower line areas, that's not going to reach the ground just yet. But this right here will be enough to give us some scattered showers as we go through this evening and into tomorrow. So futurecast as we stop at six o'clock tomorrow morning, we will have some showers for the morning commute. Snow back in the higher elevations as well, about three inches along the passes by the afternoon. Uh, eight o'clock tomorrow morning, still some scattered showers, and we're going to have those scattered showers for a good part of the day. A couple of sun breaks, and then as you pass forward to Thursday, that's 430. Here we go again with some more rain starting to work its way up. Hey, what about the snowpack? A lot of people are wondering about the snowpack. Look at Mount Bay. Stevens, Snoqualmie, uh, White Pass, Hurricane Ridge, only at about 60 to maybe 70 percent. How does that equate to the snowpack or the water that we get later on in the year? Well, we're falling behind 66 percent to almost 90 percent with our snowpack and the water that we will get later on in the spring and in the summer. These storms are going to start off with a lot of rain and the snow levels will hover close to 4,000 feet. I'll give you the snowfall levels as well. But as we look at the April precipitation outlook, we do have a good chance that we will be above normal with rainfall and above normal with our temperatures and temperatures are usually closer to the upper 50s for this time of year. Now look at the passes right now. Not bad at all, as you'd suspect, but snowfall levels again as we go through the week tomorrow at about 5000 feet dropping to 3500 feet on Thursday, 4000 feet again on Friday and then Saturday into Sunday. This is when most of the heavier rain starts to move in snowfall levels between three and 5000 feet for us. So uh, overnight lows mostly into the 40s. Tomorrow we're going to see more in the way of those 60s. Here's your seven day forecast about uh, 60 degrees or so tomorrow for SeaTac, 62 on Sunday. We've got rain just about every day this week. Mark and Lori, I think Thursday storm and Friday storm will give us some heavy rain at times and a little breezy right through the weekend. We'll send it back to you.